This issue with iTunes is very common, where it fails to detect any iOS device connected. As you can see, even though my iPhone is connected to the computer, and the iPhone is appearing in File Manager, but it's not detected by iTunes. Let me cover the first fix to resolve this issue. First, type and search for Device Manager, and launch the program. While the device is connected to the computer, the connected device should appear in the Portable Devices section, as shown here. But sometimes it may appear in different section too. So, simply right-click on your device, and select Uninstall. Now simply disconnect and reconnect the iOS device. The device will reappear in the Portable Devices list. This process essentially resets the device's relationship with your computer, often resolving the issues. If not, move on to the next fix, which targets any conflicting software running in the computer. If you have any conflicting tools, like Apple devices, Apple Music or even iMazing tool, then simply uninstall the same, as these conflicts usually arises, due to overlapping functionalities, drivers issues. Like in my case, as you can see, uninstalling Apple devices resolved my issues. And this icon is also appearing here, indicating the iTunes is detecting my iPhone successfully. But if does not resolve the issue, let's move to the next fix. For this to work, first, uninstall the current iTunes from your computer. This very fix, should be able to resolve the iTunes issue 99.9%, if done correctly. Once done, next visit this website, I will leave the link in description. On the website, located here, click on version history. Then scroll down to the bottom of the list, as shown, until you find the latest version. At the time of making this video, the latest version is 12.x. Next click on Windows. You will find iTunes available for both 32-bit processor, as well as for 64-bit processors. It's very essential to download the correct iTunes. So to find out the correct processor of your Windows computer, go back and launch the Settings app. Type and search for About. And click on Device Specifications. As you can see, my device is having 64-bit processor. Let's go back to the website, scroll down under the 64-bit section, and download the latest version of iTunes. The reason we are downloading iTunes from outside from Microsoft Store it's because non-Microsoft version of iTunes also installs Apple Mobile Device Support, which acts as a driver that allows your computer to recognize the device, enabling syncing, backups, updates, and many more. Once iTunes is downloaded, simply install iTunes into your computer, like any other program. Now let's go ahead and run iTunes, and as you can see, this icon is appearing, indicating that the issues is resolved successfully. But there is one bonus tip I want to add. On your iOS device, if you do not get the Trust This Computer pop-up, when connecting to the computer, then head over to Setting, navigate to General, and then to Transfer or Reset option. Now just Reset Location and Privacy option. That's it. If the video helped you resolve the iTunes detection issue, please follow and hype this video. And next if you want to downgrade apps to any version without jailbreak or troll store, watch my next video.